You guys might not believe it, but the iPhone 16 and the Mate XT were released on the same day. I don't want to blame Apple, they make their own business decisions. But I am sure everyone wants to see more of a phone like the Mate XT because it is so special. So impressive. It reminds me of the first foldable phone from Samsung released five years ago, everybody loved it, and everybody wanted to get it. Now, the Mate XT did the same thing. If you have it now, you are definitely the one in a million. It's definitely a head turner and makes me feel like I'm the chosen one. Yes, it gives you a sense of satisfaction that no other phone can. I think Mate XT users should experience this often in the coming year. Okay, let's come back and talk about the phone itself. The Mate XT screen is ordinary but surprisingly good. When it's folded, it doesn't have a high resolution, nor a high refresh rate or brightness. It supports LTPO, but only down to 60 Hz. That does not sound quite good right? Once you unfold it, it becomes a tablet with super high resolution, brightness, and contrast. What I actually like more is the screen ratio, it's so much better than the regular foldable phones that are close to 1, 1. The black area is smaller when watching videos, and I don't have to put up with the weird UI of unoptimized apps. So like I said before, try to use it unfolded to get the best experience. About the hinge, the Mate XT can be hovered, but it doesn't seem to be optimized accordingly. The camera app doesn't split into two parts when the phone is opened halfway. And if you put it on a table, you'll notice that it's not 100% flat. After all, there are two hinges, which makes sense to me. One thing to keep in mind is to never fold it the wrong way, or the tri-fold phone will become a tri-piece phone. Richard Yu showed off a foldable keyboard at the launch event, and everyone seemed very interested. Guess what? We got a similar one. Since this tablet form is great for browsing the web and editing text, the Mate XT is really perfect for writers, especially those who like to write in cafes. Do you guys know the Zenbook 17 Fold? That's a foldable laptop from Asus. Can the Mate XT be folded up like it and use the bottom half used as a keyboard? The lower half of it does work as a keyboard, but due to the center of gravity and camera bulge, it doesn't get laid out on a table. So the keyboard is something you'll have to get for yourself. The Mate XT's camera is arguably way ahead of the tablet's crappy camera. The main camera, ultra-wide camera, and telephoto camera are all top-notch. Getting a good photo day or night is as easy as pie. Some people will have questions. No other cameras between the 1X main camera and the 5.5X telephoto, does it mean that the clarity of the photos taken in this range will be low? Huawei of course knows about this problem, so they solved it in the best way they know, AI enhancement. Can you believe that these are all the photos you get by cropping the main camera? How come the picture quality is still so good? The answer is the power of AI. While most of the time the optical ones are just going to be better than the AI ones, the optics don't always win though. I mean, Huawei's eye algorithms are the best I've ever seen, and clarity is not something you need to worry about. What you really need to worry about is elsewhere, such as the macro mode. We were able to take macro photos with the telephoto camera on the Pura 70 Ultra, but not the Mate XT. While the ultra-wide camera can also take nice macro shots, I'd still like to see the macro shooting capability added to the telephoto cameras.